Hey guys, it's Lawrence Stokes with MGI, and today we're looking at um, Caterpillar on the one year, one day charts. And as you can see, in the past week or two, it has fallen quite a bit from 135, even 140, um, to about 115. <clears throat> but now we're getting to a point where we can start looking for a reversal and possibly buy in because it's got a lot of room to go back up. Uh, MACD still looks like it's not there yet, but soon because the RSI is below 30 it's at 27 so it's getting there uh, at least a temporary reversal but if we see this move one or two days up in a row um, I'm gonna start looking at it and hope for a 135 coming soon uh, on the 20 day same thing just waiting for a bullish crossover on the MACD um, not there yet but it's looking like it could approach there soon um, yeah, so if we look at this on Yahoo Finance, actually, this Caterpillar on Yahoo Finance, um, the revenue is $55 billion, and the EBITDA is $11 billion, which is really good because that's one-fifth, which is twice as good as we like of our one-tenth um, normal value. And then our operating cash flow is not perfect, but it's still $7 billion. Um, and that's pretty close to EBITDA, $4 billion below it. So not the best, but pretty good still. So we have $7 billion for growth and to build the company, which is uh, very good. Also want to look at the PEG ratio, which is 2.03. I like that to be under 2. Um, but that doesn't mean, that's not too bad. It's really close. And then we can look at the percent of shares shorted, basically, which is this number. And that is very, very good, 1.36% very good uh, something bad would be over seven and a half percent anything over 15 percent stay away from uh, another one I will look at is Planet Fitness if you've watched any of my recent videos you know this is one of my favorite stocks to look up let's go back to the one year one day charts we've had some big movements over the past week up and down um, Really don't know where this is headed right now, so I'm staying out of it. Uh, when I saw this pushing back up after earnings going so low, I really did not expect it to turn around and start heading back down, and that's where we're going right now. So that scared me a little bit. I was hoping to head towards 80, and that did not happen. So let's look at the 20 day and see what I see there. This is the earnings all the way down to 66. Um, Sorry, excuse my dog. But as even after this, with this huge hammer, not quite a hammer, but a little bit resembling of a hammer there, uh, we turned around, pushed all the way back up to 75. I day traded this actually, um, about 30% profit. Could have made about 70%, but was too greedy. Take your profits when you have a chance. Pushed, it came back and then it pushed back again and this is where I expected it to keep pushing and it didn't so I guess we can wait and look for a MACD bullish crossover again just like Caterpillar however all the markets are going down today so it could just be following the markets but usually Planet Fitness doesn't follow the markets like everything else does it's normally a little bit separate uh, the trade war does not affect it very much so I would say this isn't really following the markets as much as it's just doing its own thing and going down. So if the markets turn around, don't expect Planet Fitness to turn around. If the markets don't turn around, don't expect Planet Fitness not to turn around because it's kind of its own. So if we find a bullish crossover, it may be worth it because it's got a lot of room to go up. 80, if it can break 80, I've been saying it for a long time. It broke 80 here, but it did not close above 80, so it doesn't actually break 80. But if it can break 80, close above 80, have another day push up we can go up to 90 at least 85 but possibly 90 thank you guys for watching